Welcome to the food and beverage time clock tutorial. In this video, we will go over the best way to set up the time clock for your company, so you will be able to easily track and manage the time your employees spend on each position. With the time clock, you will be able to oversee the daily operations of your employees, manage paid time off, and export the timesheets to prepare for payroll. Let's take a look from the employee point of view. From the app's main feed, all I would need to do would be to select the time clock from the quick action bar right here. As you can see, there's little room for mistakes. All the employee has to do would be to click on the big blue start shift button and select the relevant position from the list of jobs. While the clock is running, they will be able to easily submit any requests such as a time off or shift request and review their timesheets. The time will keep on ticking even if they exit the time clock altogether. Back to the admin dashboard. Let's access the clock. The first view you get is the today view, where you will be able to oversee your daily operations and understand where and when your employees are clocking in and out. We can see the jobs to which your employees clock into and even hover over to get their location. You also will be able to see that operation in the activity log or in the map view. Let's take a look at the most common settings used by food and beverage companies. The first thing to do would be to set up the jobs. Those would be the positions that you track time for. I have pre-made a list of jobs and they're already organized in an alphabetical order. To add a new job, click on the Add Job button and name it. Then you can either save or edit it to qualify specific users into the position, Add the location or description as you need. Now let's have a look at the Customize tab. Here you will be able to customize the time clock to function according to your business needs. In that tab you will be able to choose the ways for your employees to clock in, whether it's from their mobile, a stationary kiosk device, from their schedule or the desktop. You will also be able to define the actions that your users take that will require your approval as a manager. This way you will be able to approve shift and absence requests. On the right hand side, you will be able to see the mobile preview as it looks for the employee. Managing paid time off is very important for every food and beverage company. This is your way to understand who is available to work from your workforce. You can customize the absences as you see fit, rename them as you wish, and make it paid or unpaid according to your needs. Any absence request approved by an admin will be logged into the employee personal time card. Please note that the amount of hours that will be logged for each absence will be determined by the work hours you define in the general tab. Let's save the settings and take a look at the Timesheets tab. The Timesheets tab is where you go when you are ready to prepare for payroll. As you can see, the calculations are already waiting for you, with the total hours that your employees worked across the specific payroll cycle. To access the employee's personal time card, simply click on the employee you wish to review. You can view and edit each shift the employee has done. If you wish to edit a shift, simply click on the relevant time slot and insert the correct time. An orange badge will appear to indicate that a change has been made. As you can see, overtime and daily limit is also color coded for your convenience, so it will be very hard to miss. You can easily chat with your employees through the timesheets, add a shift, an absence, and of course export to prepare for payroll. You will also be able to export the timesheets for your entire workforce through the Timesheets tab. Thank you for joining me. Please feel free to reach out with any further questions.